Hey guys, Brooke here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm chasing flathead out here in the Broadwater Jumping Pin area. It is that time of year where we all try and chase the flathead because the flathead classic is coming up. So I have just boated my first flatty. He was 58 centimeters, which is 88 points on the flathead classic scale. That's a really good start to the morning. So I did drop one earlier. It was only a small one though. But um, today I am just using my trusty gold and black. I love that. I will change it up a bit too, but that's what catches the fish for me. So I've got a lighter one on my other rod, which is just a small three inch clear glitter. But this is my favorite, the golden black. Um, yeah, so boated my first fish. Very, very happy with that. And it is time to just try and get the numbers up and i've kept that first one because i did want to feed a flathead for dinner so but yeah let's have some fun and hopefully the sun stays out so i don't have to keep putting my jacket on because it's so bloody cold here it is the middle of winter and let's keep fishing because we're wasting time all right i'll talk to you guys soon first fish of the day had one hit before and didn't connect very well so I dropped that one by accident but this one hooked up nicely in the top of the jaw had to sling it in because my net is not out yet fabulous very exciting Beautiful fish. Very beautiful flathead. Alright. Love to have a, have a feed of fish. This is actually perfect size, so I'm going to get the measuring tape out and um, measure this guy, and he will probably be coming home for dinner because I really feel like fish tonight. Oh, you are being very, very nice. Yes, I know. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Always so awkward to hold. I don't know how you guys get awesome pictures of flathead because that is the most awkward fish to hold. They got spikes all over them. So beautiful though. All right, let's get the measuring tape out. It's under all this stuff. Very hardy fish, so it's okay if he's out of the water for a little bit. Settle down, mate. And we have 57. That's a good fish. 57 centimeters. It's nice and fat. I don't know if you guys can see that there. So on the flathead classic scale, that would be. 88 points. I'd be very happy with that for the start of the day. This one's coming home with me because I'm not guaranteed to catch another fish. I'd love to, but I've got ice and an esky there, so I'm going to put this one out of its misery and put it on ice and continue fishing. What a nice start to the day, guys. Very exciting. All right, see you soon.
see that. I just had a flathead. You probably wouldn't have seen it, would have been in camera view, but just brought it back to the boat like that and he came up and then he sort of like had a go at it, but let go. Never mind. I think that's the one I had a few hits from. So I'm just gonna move up a little bit and you know, cast some, some different ground. Got this nice weed edge here. In there is amazing at high tide. We've got heaps of weed and then a deep gully and some sand flats and stuff. But this isn't bad here. On low tide we've got um, weed beds and some sand and then sandy and then sort of like a drop off here. So, And we have the wind coming towards me pushing it onto the bank so hopefully there'll be some bait in this area being pushed up onto that weed bed or even hiding in the weed bed. And yes, there is heaps of weed here. I can see it on the sounder. So that's good. But let's give this spot a go. I've got some guys coming towards me who are probably trolling. That's it. You go boys. Sneaking in there. Still got a little bit of water. Hopefully you boys catch something in there because it is a very productive spot. It's a beautiful day. Lots of boats out. It is Tuesday today and we have a very light breeze today. And hopefully no rain, but we will see. Some fish would be nice though. Well, I haven't had many more bumps than that one spot along this edge. So I think I'm going to have to move. Which is a shame because it does look very nice here. Well, that's what you get for turning the camera on. I just had like a probably a 40 centimeter came right up to the boat and dropped my lure unfortunately because I was playing with the camera never mind we will catch another one so I'm sort of casting up onto that sandy bank and then just bringing it back towards me and I'm also drifting behind me so I'm covering a bit of ground but he seemed to be in the deeper spot so I might just go out a tiny bit so I can spend more time bringing the lure back in the deeper section. I'm a bit of a breeze now, it's a bit annoying but at least it's not too bad. I am using a heavier rod with heavier leader and a bigger hook. So setting the hooks into smaller fish is a little bit hard because there's not much given this rod. This is actually my jigging rod, micro jigging rod. But I'm just too lazy to change lures on my other rod. So I'm just gonna stick with this for now. And if I keep missing fish on this, then I'll have to put it onto my flathead rod, which has a much lighter tip and it is longer. Just pulling it past a nice little weed bank now. Come on, flatties. A little fish. Just a little guy. Bring him in. Oh, that's a wee little point scorer. Let's have a look. Oh, where are you wriggling to? Stay there. Stay. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. And we have. 
35. 35 centimeters. That's five points, guys. Five points, I'll take that. Five points isn't better than no points. Let's guy go. Oh. Just chilling, are we? Just chilling. Hi, you dolphins. So by this time it was the bottom of the run out tide and I hadn't had any more bumps in any of the spots that I went to. The clouds were getting thicker and the sky was getting greyer and it was starting to sprinkle so I thought it was time to move on and go home. Tripping over 
You on my body Time- 